More mechanical keyboards? Yes. So this is the uh, Fission RGB, and uh, this is from the guys over at mechanicalkeyboards.com. If you haven't been there, just go over and check it out, guys. I mean, uh, we bought some green switch keyboards on there. You can find a lot of things on there that you can't really find in uh, anywhere else. They do offer free shipping, and they ship, uh, um, I guess, before, as long as you get it out before noon, they'll ship same day. They didn't pay me to say all this stuff. I just think they're a hell of a good company. And uh, this keyboard is actually um, branded by them. So what we have here is business in the front and party in the back. So you got your RGB element right here in the back. This is um, acrylic all the way around the sides here. And with some button presses, we can control the level of each LED so you can mix and match and make your favorite color. Now, over here on the front, we have uh, PBT double shot keys here. The backlighting on these is uh, white. Now, we're holding one right now that's uh, green Cherry MX switches, but you can get them in various different switch types. Now, green Cherry MX switches are sort of like blues, except they require even more actuation force. So they're like stiff blues, if you will. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, well, they're clicky, they have a bump, and they require more force than just about any other of the Cherry MX uh, keys. So if you like, you know, clicky typing and you like to, you know, really hit the keyboard, you're gonna love these. So what we have here is we have a couple of different pieces of aluminum. So on the top here, it's one piece of aluminum that's folded around. Let's put this in a machine and they fold it right around. Got a nice black coat on there. On the bottom we have a metal frame around the sides and then plastic right here in the center. It's nice they have plastic because they wanted to be able to include some feet. So we have two feet that you can pop out right there. And then we have four rubber uh, stoppers around the side. Otherwise, there's not a, you know, not a lot of bells and whistles. It's just made to work. First off, if you wanna change the uh, LED functions for the white LEDs, you can hold down function and press a different number. You can go through breathing, uh, reactive typing, they get the raindrops. Then you can do the wave. We got fireworks, which kind of like a, a little explosion around there. Uh, ripple, and then crosshairs around wherever you're typing. And then as far as the uh, the frame goes, you got a couple different modes there. You can just leave it on static like we have it now, or you can set that to breathing. Let's talk about the size of this unit. It's 17.25 by 5.5 by 1.5. That's all in inches. And it weighs, it's not too heavy, it weighs 2.5 pounds. And the cord length on this is 73 inches. So above and beyond that, you have full uh, in-key rollover on this. So you don't have to worry about you know gaming and mashing down a bunch of keys at the same time. It's just gonna work. And you can see there, it's just printed on the, the front of the keys, like your different multimedia controls. So then we also have the, uh, the G key here, right here at the end, which is gonna be F12. If you hold down function and press the G key, it just turns off the Windows key so you don't accidentally smack that in gaming. Uh, the overall build quality is extremely high. LEDs are on the top, but they've also lined up the, uh, the laser cut keys so that it matches the position of the LED so that it looks nice and shines bright and all that sort of thing. There's really not a lot to complain about here. I think the main thing with this is going to be the style. Is this a style that you want? Do you want business in the front? Party <laughs> in the back? I mean, when I first looked at it, I was like, you know what that looks like? Someone at like a sci-fi channel for a low budget thing was like, what's the future gonna look like? And they were like, get some of these keyboards and put them on the set. That's just my take on this, um, and I'm not sure if that's cool or uncool, but the style is completely up to you guys. So let me know what you think of the style. Is this something that you think is cool? Who knows? If you're sick of RGB, you can turn the, the light off and just have a keyboard that's you know made out of quality aluminum here, so there's that as well. So anyway, go over and check it out on mechanicalkeyboards.com. Uh, they got plenty of keyboards over there, and they've got the keycaps and just all the different things you need. You know, If you wanna make your keys quiet well you can go over there and grab some stuff for that too they're pretty much everything even clothing so uh guys uh say thanks to everyone at mechanicalkeyboards.com for sending this over check them out and uh be sure to check out the fission rgb and you know check out some other keyboards wire over there as well plenty of cool stuff plenty of switches while you're at it grab a t-shirt if you need a mouse we got you covered grab uh, one of the finnick mice over at epicpants.com so i'll see you guys later